morning guys. It's about 5.45. Day nine? Day nine of the 12 days of Carrie. And Mac and I are about to go hunting. Um, it's 28 degrees outside, so gotta put on our warm layers. He's got the wood stove going, and of course Mila is in front of her favorite thing in the entire world. This is her favorite spot. I don't know how she sits there, honestly. It gets so hot, but she loves it. Mac already made us some coffee, so we're gonna get dressed and head out. Let's do it. Layer two. really awesome black one-piece winter outfit <laughs> uh, is it super warm it is I need one of those it's incredible I don't know do they come in camo yeah I just and the boots are those your Marine Corps boots no they're not yeah I had white ones when I was in the Marines but I like them enough to know that I need to get a pair of those. <laughs> they're big big bulky boots but they're supposed to be extremely warm now the camo Get <laughs> the movie talking about? Mm hmm. That's what you're discussing with me? It's creepy. Turn the head out. Wish us luck. This is from the storm the other day. Mm. They have dead roots. That's a metaphor for life, guys. If you're not deeply rooted in the truth, life storms will come and they will knock you over. This is really helpful. The storm pushed all these leaves out. to just clear out the space even more so I can hunt it later. Um, I made quite a bit of noise clearing the leaves out from where I'm sitting this morning. So I'll just make noise now while I'm gonna leave. And then next time I come back to the spot, it'll be cleared out and I don't have to make any noise. But I really like this spot. These are mushrooms, totally frozen. Wow, it's so cool. 
It's about 30 degrees out here. I am cold. My feet are warm, thanks to my nice boots that my husband got me. But I've been out here for about three hours, so it's uh, getting chilly. All right, let me just give you guys a little update on today. I didn't see anything on my hunt, unfortunately, but it was nice to clear out that space and kind of scope it out because I think it's gonna be a really good spot for future hunts. We only have like a week left of hunting. Hopefully I'll fill one more tag, we'll see. So today I was just editing my videos for most of the day because I had to post two today because I didn't post one last night. Bad girl. Um, <laughs> but I'm all caught up now, so today, the day that I'm filming this is Wednesday. Tonight I have a little Christmas party with my Bible study group. So I'm gonna be making these bacon wrapped potato appetizers that I make for like pretty much every potluck I go to. And they're amazing. So I'll show you how to make them in case you guys wanna bring them to a party or just make them to eat at home. They're awesome. Um, oh, and I'm also gonna prep dinner so that it's ready for the family to eat while I'm out tonight at Bible study. So that's what we're doing. Oh, and I'm gonna show you my concealment for tonight. And I think I might try out one of those sticky holsters. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here's the sticky holster. Um, this is the one that's the right size for my Glock 42, which is what I'm gonna be showing you right now. So it has this tacky finish on the outside that's supposed to keep it stuck to your skin and the inside of your waistband so that when you dry your gun, the whole thing doesn't pop out. Now, I just tried this with a different pair of jeans that were a little looser, and it did come out, but those were definitely too loose. <laughs> so I'm gonna try it on with a better fitting pair of jeans. These fit me perfectly, they're just snug enough. So I'm gonna put my gun inside the holster before I put it in my waistband, just for safety reasons. And when you get a new holster, it's always a good idea to practice your draw, but because it's new, I've never tried it before, I'm going to make sure my gun is empty. So it is, nothing in the chamber, Empty magazine, and that's how we're gonna test out this holster. All right, so here's the holster. You have to kind of pop it open with your fingers and then get that muzzle in there. Be very careful holstering this because it is very snug. I don't wanna put my hand in front of it, so just fit it over, make sure it's covering the trigger. And then we just put it in our waistline like so. I think my sister wears it more to the side, like that. Let's try that. So it stayed in there. Let's see if I move it a little bit more towards the center of my body. All right, let's test that out. Okay, so it came out there. I do have to wear it more to the side just because my hip bone kind of keeps it in place better than if it's just kind of in this middle area. So right there, it does not come out. Um, so the tightness of your waistband definitely affects how this holster is going to work or not work. but it is very comfortable. There's a little bit of a bulge here, but not terrible. And even under a crop top, my gun doesn't really show. It's tucked in there nice. Hmm, fascinating. Obviously you can wear these with like leggings and even leggings with like a really tight waistband, that would be probably perfect for these for these types of holsters. And I don't know if the more I wear this in, the more sticky it'll get. Hmm. It is intriguing because it's definitely much less bulky than like your regular Kydex holster. So I think I'm going to carry in this tonight. See how it feels throughout the evening and I'll report back to you later. I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I'm also going to carry my extra magazine with a Neomag. I will link these below as always. So the clip sticks out and then my new buck budgie knife that I've been loving. If a knife can be cute, that's what this one is. 
and then my palm pepper spray is gonna go in this pocket. I like to practice my draw quite a bit before I carry in a new holster. It is very comfortable, I will say. <laughs> draw sticky holsters okay I really want a snack right now and I think some of you are not gonna like me for this but I love sardines I love sardines like right out of a can they're cooked they're not raw okay I grew up eating these and I love them so I'm gonna have one of these and I'm also gonna make a green smoothie because I feel like I need a green smoothie for the vitamins and whatnot I feel like vegetables are just so hard to incorporate into my diet because I don't know. They're boring. Um, but I am going to make a green smoothie. But I'm not really a sweet gal. I'm more of a savory snack gal. So I'm going to have this to balance it out. And then I'll make my green smoothie. And these ones from Trader Joe's are the best in olive oil. Here's what's going in my smoothie. This is the protein powder we use. It's organic protein and it's plant-based protein. I feel like whey proteins always kind of mess with my stomach and... I just don't like all the extra stuff that's in them. So we get this on Amazon and it's, I'd say it's pretty fairly priced for what it is. There's a lot of good stuff in it. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. Some spinach, banana, an apple, and some lemon. I'm keeping it simple. I don't want anything too sweet. So I'm gonna skip the berries. We make smoothies for the boys probably once a day, they love them, and they're really healthy. So that's what I'm gonna have right now. It's like a world's tiniest banana. Before I put in the, uh... Also, I've been walking around the house with this on and I totally forgot that it was there. <laughs> so that's good. That's a good sign. Okay, I was just about to start dinner and I got a message from Sticky Holsters that they can give you guys a discount code. So they need some information from me and then I'll get that code set up and I'll include it in the description for this video so you guys can get a discount. I also get a small percentage of any sales that are made from my recommendations so that's just a little way that i can keep doing what i do on here and give wyatt all the attention because if i had to work a normal job he would be alone okay tonight for dinner it is wednesday night we're having cbl and cbl stands for chicken broccoli linguine that's what the boys call it and we're actually using fettuccine, but we call it CBL. This is probably one of their favorite meals that I make, so I'm making it tonight. I'm gonna have it all ready, and then I'm gonna go to Bible study, and they can eat whenever they're hungry. So step one, I cut, I cut this up beforehand, but I'm just using a half pack of bacon, and then I cut it up into small pieces, and I'm just gonna heat it up until it's kind of crispy in this pot. So I'm just gonna let that heat up and get nice and crispy. And I pre-cut my broccoli. So these are just broccoli florets. And I'm gonna steam these while the bacon cooks. And then we're gonna mix it up with some rotisserie chicken that I've already cut up. And then we'll make the pasta and throw it all together. Um, I had a steamer, but it broke. So this is how I do it now. Then I'm going to use this pot for the pasta, and then we're going to mix it all together in this pot so I have less to clean at the end. You know, before I start that, I'm going to put some wood in the wood stove because Mac is out hunting and he should be home soon. And I think it's pretty cold out. You can't tell in here because it's like 80 degrees in this room and probably 72-ish in all the other rooms. Is that my pretty girl? Where are you going? Mila? Nope. <laughs> Oh, good stretch. Okay, while that cooks, I'm gonna make my bacon wrapped potatoes. So I have red potatoes here that I already washed and scrubbed. So I'm gonna cut them up into like one inch little pieces 
and then we're gonna boil them for about four minutes. Okay, so I have my potatoes boiling for three to four minutes once the water starts boiling. My bacon's almost done. I have to boil my pasta, and then once these are drained, I get to wrap them in bacon and then stick them in the oven for like a half an hour. I'll put the recipe down below so you guys can make them. These are so good and so easy to make. Okay, I just threw the broccoli in here. I'm gonna throw the chicken in there. Try to do this with one hand. All right, and then mix it up. I drained as much of the bacon grease as I could, so there's not too much. And once the pasta's done, I'm just gonna toss it in here, or I'll toss it in the bigger pot with the pasta. Um, and then I put some shredded lactose-free cheese and a little splash of lactose-free milk just to make it a little creamy. And then a little salt, and that's it. Really easy. Guys, I just got home from my little Christmas party, but I wanted to show you. This is what the dinner looks like. The chicken, broccoli, uh, fettuccine with bacon. It's really good. I'm just having some right now. So I wore that sticky holster all night, and when I got home, it didn't budge, and I had not adjusted it at all, so it was very comfortable. I just wore my She Cooks Herself sweatshirt on top of it, and so far, I really like it. I'm working on getting you guys a discount code. If I get it by the time this video is posted, I'll put it in the description of this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed day nine of my 12 days of carry. We've got three days to go, so I'll see you tomorrow for day 10. Stay safe. Bye.